Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to more Alive. Last time around, Herbie went bananas. That banana landed in my mouth, and I bit it pretty hard. Yeah, we, we died a whole lot in an epic car chase. Somehow managed to survive that after admitting a safe state, and ended up in a railroad yard, and there was somebody shooting harpoons at us, and another group of guys trying to steal our sweet-ass earrings, so... Let's see where uh, where we've ended up now. Oops, don't want to save. Yeah, we've been given uh, a whole lot of additional information from a very nice YouTube commenter. There's a whole lot of fucking intrigue in this game about different factions, you know, fighting behind the scenes for control of finances and maybe plotting this whole fake terrorist thing to control the the general uh, prefecture or wherever this is supposed to take place. And I, I guess they're they're trying to recreate that whole scenario and taking care of you know the old guard that that might have dangerous information against them. And yeah, sadly that, that nice harpoon person that was saving us before now has turned out to be a, another deadly assassin. Not really sure though if uh, this like, little dart gun is the best weapon. I guess maybe it's a, it's a better sniper weapon? I, I, I don't know. Sadly, I don't think we're going to be getting any improvements uh, over our dolphin. We're going to be stuck with that for the rest of the game. Still, Atsuka is a pretty decent shot with it, and we saw in the last video that she's also quite adept at hand-to-hand -hand combat for some reason. I don't know, as far as I've been able to tell, she's just... A reporter or something like that like I don't think she's officially a, a government agent or anything Yeah, compared to the last assassin, this assassin is a little bit easier to deal with. Definitely still as ferocious, just a little bit less so than the guy we had to fight in our apartment. I do thoroughly enjoy that the, the Japanese have such an affection towards baseball that seemingly no matter where you head in Japan, there is always a vacant baseball stadium ready for a epic showdown. Probably saying something cool like, Three strikes and you're dead. And when we finally see that this assassin is a female assassin. Play ball. Oops. <laughs> Guess I pressed it a bit prematurely there. Yeah, I I think in that situation, it's like, I think what I was doing was kind of spamming the interaction button that caused me to fire too soon. And I think the, the initial times it was popping up was just, you know, trying to, to fake you out.
There we go. It's a mission successful. Also, I guess this could be a football or soccer stadium as well. I know they also have a strong affection for that. Yeah, another mysterious assassin taken down. Another new piece of news here. Certainly are collecting quite a bit of it. And this one has to do with Club Pink, or as they would say in J Japanese, Club Pinku. Um, what was kind of illustrated or brought up in uh, the some of the translated YouTube comments is that I guess people have been going missing at Club Pink and that their organs might be stolen there or like there's there might be this whole underground organ black market there and that's kind of mysterious whether or not that has something i assume that has something to do with the greater plot because it seems like each one of the heads of the districts that's going missing has done some sneaky shady shit beyond you know what what we already know and some of it has been brought up uh, through some of the news stories some of it's just kind of uh, conjecture but yeah I'm, I'm assuming that this is either just place for straight prostitution or uh, the the weird Japanese market of what they call hostess clubs where it it's a little bit more innocent where where men will just go in they'll have a, a drink with ladies uh, the ladies are paid, but there's not anything inherently sexual about it. It's just, it's kind of like an escort, I suppose. I don't know. It's it's a weird subculture in Japan, or uh, I don't know. Japan is uh, sometimes culturally strange to me. But yeah, just more information to store away. And by now, we, we have been getting quite a bit of it, and it's all kind of subcategorized down, which is good. But, much like the other times that we've taken down assassins, even though it didn't directly show it, yeah, we now have an ID card for our third assassin. Definitely collecting them. I am a bit sad that she doesn't have a, a similar, I guess, animal print to her outfit, but yeah, it's fine. So, Rina Kamiya. Uh, let's see. Just curious about their blood types. I'm not sure what. I guess it's just A positive and O and B positive. I'm not sure what the RH stands for. Yeah, we already get some additional information for her. It's a bit strange, I thought... Actually... Oh, we can't see her secret data. That's why we have to use the, uh, the security cipher. And that will unlock her secret, secret data, but for some reason, just getting her card unlocked the uh, original data, too. But, uh... Yeah, I'm sure... To, to, to compare it with the other secret data, this is probably just information or a, a dialogue between her and her employer talking about maybe get ridding, getting rid of Atsuko and maybe taking care of... I, I'm assuming anytime I see like C or D, it's talking about the different cities and more than likely the, uh, the heads of those particular cities. So she was probably requested to go take a, take care of the, the head of C and D. But yeah, much like the other two guys, she does have uh, a death listed. I'm not sure if this is meant to be... This is something else I was a bit confused about. I'm not sure if this was a record of kills she has done or the fact that she might have died back in 2003, but... It's the exact same as the other two assassins, and there's also this original data too, which seems to have some basics regarding, I guess, her body shape, and since it mentions IQ, 
I'm assuming that some kind of mental proficiencies or maybe a, a breakdown of her individual skills. What I do find interesting is the fact that her IQ is 153. And in the data for the other guys, they're very similar stat-wise, like 153 IQ. I think relative like height and everything is kind of the same. I'm not sure what the, the higher number is, 5,500. And our first assassin, he was only 5,000, but yeah, everything else is kind of the same. 153 IQ, great facial hair, uh, dreamy eyes, so definitely a guy you'd want to take home to mother. And uh, I'm kind of assuming since there is one more slot, that could mean that there is another assassin. And... Yeah, I only just noticed it, but all these, all three of these people are from the A area. So maybe that, maybe that's some other connection that they have. For now, though, we have we have managed to survive. So uh, I don't know. I think we've not really sure where to go next. Meanwhile, at the secret Sentai headquarters, the mysterious Illuminati Machiavellian-esque figure is still really entranced by our sweet, sweet dangly earrings. And I guess that big building is an area, A. Eh? Huh. Either way, at a, another more odd area. Seems that uh, Atsuko does have an idea of where she is wanting to head. Maybe it's another hideout for our, for Akira. It's definitely one of the more lavish sets that we've seen so far. I, I mean, for the most part, all the sets and the scenery and everything has been pretty relatively high class, I'd say. And it's all been pretty different. It's not just been factory basement, factory basement, boiler room. It's pretty varied. It's been pretty impressive, honestly. Yeah, it seems that we might be cornered by the Volkswagen police. And it seems like our smock friend might be able to, to block the security forces from entering. They show what appears to be maybe a illuminated flip phone. And hey, we he, he actually does manage to get rid of the security forces. So that's a that's a positive boon for us. No more running around. Still, something about the music just makes things feel a little bit tense still. Let's see, we got a new piece of news or two. Uh, it's 34 years old. Maybe works with the police? Yeah, it could be that in the A district, that's where the police and all the, uh, the higher-up organizations are located. And a fetus. 
Maybe. I think that's what that's supposed to be. Like an in embryo fetus. Something happened in 97 regarding fetuses. Then in 2003 something happened and then six of something in... Alright, I'm gonna assume that sheep equates to cloning. I mean, that's usually why you show a cell and some sheep. See, sheep are apparently very apt at being cloned for reasons. So, maybe there was human cloning at some point, and maybe it was outlawed, and instead they're like, hey, let's just stick to sheep. Not sure why that would have come up at this particular moment in our news. I guess we'll just have to see. Oh, actually, in the title there, I think that's also a D, so maybe that guy is like the head of the D district, or... Eh. Either way, we'll save that off. Another uh, scathing article about Club Pink. Or maybe they moved into a much nicer, larger building and took on a more corporate feel. I mean, nothing says Club Pink like uh, corporate casual, I guess. So, ooh, Sachiko Kishi. I'd certainly like to not kiss you that face. Ha ha. Um, but yeah, I'm assuming from the general look of her, she is maybe a share impersonator. Or maybe someone into being a gothic Lolita. I know that was popular in Japan uh, probably since World War II and to the present. Um, uh, yeah, maybe she, maybe she works at Club Pinku. Maybe she was the founder. Hard to say. But I, I guess organ harvesting might have some closer connection with cloning. I mean, I guess you could clone people and farm them for their organs. That seems entirely plausible. Yeah. I still can't get over the fact that this music makes everything sound very uneasy, but it seems pretty chill. So, yeah, the, this guy or this place has some connection with Akira, which might explain why we decided to come here. Maybe Akira lives in this sweet ass mansion and that Akira shitty apartment was just uh Atsuko's here. But yeah, while we wait for Akira, seems like a as a good up opportunity as any to dab ourselves with some sensual oils and take a nice bath. I mean we did just probably murder another number of people. And don't worry, people out there watching, this is not an AO rated game. We are, we're going to be safe from any, uh, any nudity. Still, it seems that Mr. Smock is exploring around in our unmentionables, and seemingly like everyone else in this story is very into our mysterious jangly earrings. Looks like we're going to be killed in our milky bath, but... Yeah, we are saved by the bell.
Yeah, it seems that on Mr. Smock's engage, there is someone approaching the manor. And Atsuko ponders, did I really need to bathe again? Now, it is a bit of a mystery as to who is approaching the uh, house here. Akira. But hey, it's, it's, it's our lover, best friend, and childhood co compatriot, uh, Akira. And Yoko? Yeah, Yoko has shown an uh, unusual amount of interest in Atsuko, and she does have similar earrings, or earring, I should say. Before we can ponder any more about our connection to Yoko, it seems that the man in the maternity smock has blocked our signal. And as if the the gun uh, and stealing our sweet-ass earrings was not any more of a clue. And we have found ourselves yet again in another dangerous situation. Also, in a very... Strange turn of events. Yeah, looks like a layout of the house. And some of the uh, very late 90s graphics. But I'm not sure what the plan is here. Hmm. Well, that thing did have breasts, so I assume it was a lady. It's a, it's, a, it's a bit hard to tell what's supposed to be going on here. I mean, I assume this is the house because of the man sitting in a chair statue, which we clearly saw. Hmm. Right, so... This is how Wiley e. Coyote would probably plan out his schemes in 2030 Japan. What's worse is we are locked inside, and someone is going to come shoot us. Meanwhile, uh, Akira and Yoko are going to be blown up with a uh, some sort of explosive device outside. That we definitely can't allow that to happen. I know. Let's hack the lamp. It has been quite a bit of time since we were able to do any hacking last. And in case you're wondering how it was going to get more difficult, it's because it's going to be fairly different than what it was before. I mean, there there's still some similarities, like there's going to be the Doramas and Good Luck Cats, and I think it, inevitably we're going to have to find a door and some Tory gates, but yeah, instead of this being from a, a top-down perspective, it's now going to be from the first person. So, hopefully those of you that enjoyed he the Hell Knight LP will be uh, enjoying this return to form for really difficult first-person maneuvering. And, strangely enough, we I already got where we needed to go, I think, because there's all these Tory gates, and if we head into one, 
we see this combination of lit up sphere circles. And what we have to do is match the, the password symbol that we're given, which is kind of that uh, backwards lowercase d there. And each one of these Torah gates will have a, a different combination that it will give us. And I am going to try to do this as quickly and as efficiently as I can. Uh, I'm not super great at it. But yeah, there are base there are pretty much six gates. And let's see, we just need to get the bottom two. Sorry, this is uh, as cumbersome as it probably seems. I think, I think I might have it though. I think if we just get like a di diagonal S, I think this should do it. All right, now comes our part because we have to make it to the door with the limited amount of time we have. And I'm pretty sure like getting hit by that Dorama right now will just immediately cause us to fail. Which is a bit unfair, because it just can travel through walls. But all we have to do is get to the door, and the limited amount of time we have, and... Yeah, in, in normal cyberpunk fashion, hacking is some elaborate, you know, visual game instead of, you know, ones and zeros or coding or scripting or anything it's just flying through cyberspace on the back of a dolphin or something and i know we've all seen johnny mnemonic we know about the 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 military dolphin that helps keanu reeves hack the planet and he gets protected by ice tea and dolph lundgren fights henry rollins it's a, it's a classic film but yeah, apparently there were two guys in these maternity smocks, and they are initiating their their kill program. Little do they know that Suko is not going to be waiting to die. And she does take the smarter route of not really drawing attention to herself. Question is, it's a it's kind of a race against time to stop the bombing of Akira and Yoko out in the car there. Thankfully, she is pretty quick on the draw. She's able to figure out that the virtual cop, you know, graphics are kind of representing the inevitable plan to kill her and also Kira. I will say that's actually a pretty, pretty neat idea. The the whole little camouflaging landmine. But yeah, we have to get out there before the file is complete, and everyone's control alt deleted to hell. Still, I can't really get over the fact that these, uh, these smock guys are acting in a very peculiar fashion. They're just very, I guess, robotic almost? Whew. 
That was close. Yeah, it's not over yet. The the evil smock men are out to get us. Oh no, Yoko! I was like, why don't you die? Oh man, there's even more of them. Her dying breath, she bequeaths us her sweet wind chime earrings. Whoa. Yeah, with little Japanese, I know. Okasa is mother, or Okasa. So, Yoko was Atsuko's mother. Active, let's fucking kill these guys. Oh yeah, that was satisfying. Killed a mansion full of guys, finally got to meet her, her mother. I mean, she's dead, but... Her sacrifice was not in vain, it was just really... Really bloody. And were those the final assassins? Assassin? I mean, was it more than one guy? Hmm. Maybe something new in our inventory. Nothing new unlocked there. I mean, it clearly looked like we got a card. Hmm. I don't know. Part of me was, I guess it would be pretty cool that Maybe with all the cloning, that maybe the final assassin made a bunch of clones of himself and tried to take us out that way, but I guess it's not the case. Yeah, no new news, no new items. I don't know, maybe, maybe we'll get something in a second. Oh no! That was the end of disc two, which means that there is just one final disc to go through. And I can only assume with all these very serious looking pictures and Natsuko wielding a gun still, that it will be pretty action packed. Full of story and intrigue and we'll figure out exactly what the hell is going on with all these 
clones and organ stealing and pink clubs and dead moms and Volkswagen police. It, it'll be uh, it'll be a sight to see, but I'll have to wait for that next time. See you then.